This occurring challenge is called intro to conditional statements. The point of this challenge is to get you familiar with if else statements. So we have a task here and it comes with four conditions. We have to print the string weird or not weird depending on the value of n. So n here is going to be an integer and if it's odd then we have to print weird. We also have to print that string if n is even but within the inclusive range of 6 and 20. Otherwise, if n is even and it's within the inclusive range of 2 and 5, then we print not weird. And we do the same thing if n is even and greater than 20. If you look here, these last three conditions all have one thing in common. And they have to do with n being an even number. So what we could do in our solution is to group these under one main condition, that is, if n is even, and then we can have subconditions to take care of this range and also that range and this condition here if n is greater than 20. I've written this comment here and then this is my code. When you begin this challenge, it's going to look something like this. Here what I'm doing is I'm creating a string called s and I'm using a char const pointer. So this is technically how we do it in C, but even though this is C++, it still works. Now below that, I have two main conditions. The first one is if n is an odd number. And the second one here is a group of conditions. That is the else statements, which will execute if n is not an odd number. So in other words, if n is not an odd number, meaning n is even, then we'll jump here and keep verifying for other conditions. So here, n mod 2, this here is the modulo operator. This will return 1 if n is an odd number. So because this returns the remainder of a division, if n is an odd number, the remainder is going to be 1. So this here, if it returns 1, it means n is an odd number. And therefore, I want to store the value weird inside of my string variable here called s. This takes care of the first condition here, which says if n is an odd number. Otherwise, if n is an even number, meaning we are jumping now to these last three conditions, then I want to verify if it's within the inclusive range of 2 and 5, this is what they say here, the inclusive range of 2 and 5, then I want to print that weird. I have this or logical operator, and that is because if you look at this last condition here, I also need to print that weird if n is even, meaning it has to do with this part here of the code, but if it's also greater than 20. So I have this other condition here saying if n is even, and it is greater than 20, then I can store the value not where inside of s here. Otherwise, if n is still even, but it is within the inclusive range of 6 and 20, which is what I have here, then I can store the value where inside of s. So to print the value of s here on the console, I can use c out just like this. So let's run this code now. We have passed both sample test cases. So now I'm going to submit it we've passed all the eight test cases. For now, that's it for this hacker rank challenge called Intro to Conditional Statements. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.